Hello everyone, my name is Melly and welcome to the AGF channel. Today I'm excited to talk about our newest designer for art gallery fabrics, Alexandra Bardello. Her debut collection called Dew and Moss is super playful, whimsy, and adorable. This collection was inspired by her and her son's favorite bedtime story in Being Out in the Forest. To learn more about Alexandra and the inspiration for this collection, make sure to click the I in the right hand corner of this video. The free quilt pattern offered in this collection is called Gnomesville. It's designed by Alexandra and is such a striking quilt pattern. So I'll make sure to leave a link to this pattern in the description box below. And like always, to find out who won the fabric giveaway from my last video, make sure to stick around to the end of this video. And if you're here to find some fun new fabric for your sewing projects, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the AGF channel. Now let's dive into the prints offered in Dew and Moss Fabrics. Dew and Moss has 12 amazing prints to choose from with gorgeous shades of reds, greens, and whites. Also choose from three super soft stretchy knit fabrics. The Meadow Fellows print is the star print from this collection. Ideal fabric for fussy cutting, and it tells a story of magical gnomes living in mushroom houses, watering the plants in their gardens, drinking cups of coffee as they have fun catching fireflies. I can't get enough of this super cute print, which is why I love that it also comes in our super soft stretchy knit. By scaling down the size of this print, it makes it great to use for kids shirts, dresses, onesies, and super soft blankies. One of my favorite prints from Dew and Moss is the Bugsy and Posy print because of its bright orange red background, playful ladybugs all in a row with cottage style houses and cheerful florals. English paper piecing would definitely be fun with this print, selecting the cute elements from the fabrics. The Glowy Bousquet print has this excellent deep green with hand-drawn outlines of flowers and leaves, with pops of vibrant coordinating and contrasting colors, which fills this high-spirited print with extra quirkiness and energy. Okay, so here's a super cute blender print with small-scale mushrooms on this electric lime background. I love the charming outline sketches of all the different types of mushrooms. This print will surely add just the right amount of charm to your sewing projects. The Moss's Snail Mail print has busy little snails trailing back and forth, slow and steady. The simplistic modern take on this print is what gives this print that adorable, fun-loving touch. This print comes in our knit fabric in this attractive shade of light creamy peach with pops of green and orange. We made the cutest little dress with solid trim details. I love this next print so much. With solid white background, Alexandra sketched these peaceful looking gnomes dressed up in mushroom hats with leaves and foliage in their hair. Their faces meld together and from far away they are camouflaged hidden amongst the nature. We created this little jumpsuit perfect for hours and hours of playtime. The Jar of Bugs print contains little clear jars meant for catching fireflies and collecting foliage from the forest. The print is enhanced with this calming shade of peach which makes it delicate and sweet to make gender neutral decor for any kid's room. The Daisy Button Buds print has these dainty little florals on this rose peach background. The small scale florals make it great for adding a feminine touch to your sewing projects. This print also comes in our knit in this yummy orange red background. This print is extremely versatile, making it great for garments for all ages, which will make the sweetest looking outfits. This mini bunting print showcases decorative flags and lanterns and candles to light up the dark of night on this crisp white background. Another great blender to mix and match back with the main prints in the collection. I love a good stripe print and I love the minty shade of green in the background of this print with dark green stripes and yellow embellishments. A perfect geometric blender to coordinate with the rest of the prints in this collection. Another great blender print in this collection is this petite twinkling star pattern with a stunning medium shade of orange. I love the delicate touch it has in this linear geometric design. The last print called A Fly Night Sky has this rich dreamy forest green background with little fireflies dancing throughout the night sky. This blender print will read as a solid in your quilting projects to break up busy prints and give you the right amount of movement and texture. I wanted to show you the latest block I made for the AGF Quilt Block Collection. It's called the Eight Pointed Star Block. I fussy cut the cute little girl gnome watering her flowers for the center of my block. 
I love the bright orange red flying geese mixed with the lime green. If you want to give this block a go, make sure to click the eye in the right hand corner of this video or make sure to visit the description box below. Mixing our pure solids to any of your quilting or sewing projects has never been easier with 99 colors to choose from. Here are the colors that will coordinate perfectly with Dew and Moss fabrics. Dark Citron, Lemonade, Patina Green, Tender Green, Apricot Crepe, Peach Sherbet, Coral Reef, and Tiger Lily. This fabric haul can't end without me sharing my favorite projects from the Dew and Moss Fabric Lookbook. This reverse applique mushroom pillow is colorful, cute, and big and bold, which is my favorite kind of pillow project. We paired it with our AGF Smooth Denim to add a casual, cozy feel, which makes it a perfect statement piece to add to any kid's room. Another fun project are these handling storage baskets. The pattern is by Apple Green Cottage. I love the use of pure solid fabrics for the fold over and a solid print for the basket. These little guys have a little strap with a snap closure to hang in your sewing room to add your sewing supplies or whatever you want to store for easy access. To find more projects and all the details on these projects, you can take a peek at the Dew and Moss Fabric Lookbook. I had such a blast going through all the darling prints offered in the Dew and Moss Fabric Collection. If you're loving some of these prints and want to find something to sew with them, make sure to check out our Dew and Moss Fabric Lookbook. Now it's time to announce the winner of the Catch and Release Fabric Giveaway. And the winner is... Jordan Frampton. Her favorite fishing trip was with her hubby, a great book, and a boat on the water while the kids went to grandma's for the day. So since I enjoyed sewing with this fabric collection so much, this giveaway will feature a fat quarter bundle of all of the prints in the collection. To enter this giveaway, make sure to share this video with all your sewing friends. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the AGF channel. Also, make sure to comment in the comments below with your favorite childhood bedtime story. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Until next time, happy sewing.